Carlos, uh, really pleased to be here today at AD Engineering. We've come to uh, explore and look at this wonderful new machine we've got behind us here. Can you just tell us what this machine is and, and who you purchased it through? Okay, this machine is a uh, twin spindle, twin turret, uh, uh, turning with milling capability center. And we purchased it from Matsura Machinery Limited from the UK. Uh, it's, it's a Mura, Muratech machine, or a Murata, as also known. Um, quite a capable machine tool, isn't it? It is indeed, Paul. Uh, one of the main um, capabilities of this machine is the power on the spindle and the milling capability throughout all the axis. Uh, you've also got lots of other multi-axis machines, haven't you? One of the things you said to me earlier, is since this has hit the deck, uh, this is actually 10% faster than other twin turrets you've looked at or had before, isn't it? Yes, we had um, twin spindle from other manufacturers, actually 15% faster on um, same competition, twin spindle, twin turret machines. What I also think is interesting here, um, Carlos, and, and this will be for the viewers as well, is some of the points on this machine that you've highlighted to me that, that really made you purchase it. One of the first ones is the size. Can you, can you explain uh, you know, the differences between this and some of the others you looked at as well? Yes, uh, throughout the purchasing process, uh, footprint was very important to us. And this was the only machine in the market that was almost uh, uh, one meter shorter than the rest of the competition, including bigger machines. Okay, and then also then there's the tooling aspect. Twin turret machine, but you have 15 stations on each turret, which compared to most that have 12. Yes, most um, twin spindle or most uh, turning machine, they normally come with 12, 12 station or 10 station, and some of them come with half index. This machine has uh, the peculiarity that comes with 15 stations and Y axis in both of them turrets. Okay, because to me, looking at the numbers, if you had two 12 station turrets that half index, that's 48 tools, but you can only get 30. So why do you think that that's better? The reason why I think it's better, because with 15 tools per turret, I can utilize 30, tour 30 tools. Sometimes when you got 48 tools, you never ever get 48 tool mounted in the machine because you can have a lot of collision with the tools. And the beauty of this uh, and having that amount of tooling as well is you don't have to change them very often, do you? You've got a set of fixed tools. You change the job from job to job, minimal downtime. Yes, of course. Uh, Matsuda, when we purchase this machine, Matsuda, we purchase as a turnkey machine. Uh, we have a family component um, that we put in the machine. And Matsuda look after all the aspect, programming and tooling and adequate every single tool station to maximize the capacity of the machine. Two Y-axis as well, what, what benefit does that give you? Well, perhaps uh, instead of having double, right now the machine is capable of holding 30 tools, but we got um, several double tool holders. So the Y-axis gives us the flexibility, not only having the, the double holders and the X-axis, we have it on the Y-axis. So it, it builds up to the robust and the reliability of the machine tool. Uh, just quickly show our camera, these are the sorts of parts you're making. So this is typically what um, Carlos is doing here at AD Engineering. Um, would you describe these as classic twin turret, twin spindle jobs? Yes, uh, probably a little bit further than that because we got a lot of milling, drilling, um, threading, broaching, uh, trochoidal tool parts. Uh, this component perhaps is for oil and gas. This has been done in 316 as well as titanium. Uh, this is an aluminium component, again, servo drilling, uh, tapping and milling as well as broaching the operation, multitasking. Okay, now this is a 51 mil bar machine, isn't it? You, you, you said to me earlier as well about the fact that you like the fact that both spindles are equal, it's not a sub-spindle. Is that, that another point for you? Yeah, the, one of the selling points that I think um, uh, Murata or, or on, on this particular model, Muratech, has is that they split the machine. It's like having two machines. You don't have a machine with a main spindle and a sub spindle. You have two machines with main spindle. Same power, same um, uh, turret and speed capability throughout the machine. And, and on that point as well, uh, you can use either turret on either spindle, so you're not restricted to having to just have the top turret, let's say, for example, on the main spindle. You, you can mix and match. 
Yes, of course, uh, Paul. Um, European manufacturers, they call that as a quattro twin spindle machine. The turrets can overlap either to the sub spindle or to the main spindle, each of them at a time. And, so, and some of our viewers might be mistaken for thinking that what we have above here is, uh, is kind of like a gantry load in, load out, but that's not the case. You've got the bar feed feeding the machine, and then this is your unload mechanism, isn't it? Um, this is outside of the air, working area as opposed to some inside. Do you find that advantageous? Well, um, Murata, Murata machines uh, describe this type of uh, unloading system, the most reliable in the market. And it was actually a nice feature to have. I call it a fascinator, perhaps. Uh, but yes, it's, it has been proven very, very reliable compared to the ones that we got existing. And I think our viewers shouldn't take this interview lightly because you, you are or well, you could be classed as an expert when it comes to machine tools. You've, you've spent many, many years researching, using um, different types of machine brands, haven't you? Indeed, Paul, of course. Uh, you bought it blind, though. <laughs> Tell us about that. You hadn't looked at one, you just went out and bought it. What's the story? Uh, the story behind that is um, we've been um, pressurized by our customers, perhaps to say, uh, based on um, the good service that we can supply, uh, they needed uh, more uh, capacity uh, through the workshop and I needed to have uh, a machine tool, a multi-axis, multitasking machine uh, within a few weeks uh, up and running. Um, we went through all the machine tool manufacturers and as I mentioned early on, uh, Footprint was uh, a number one um, key on the purchase as well as having to deal with a, a, a good sub machine tool supplier. So the reason why um, it was a little bit blind purchase is because Matsuda was the only uh, one in the country that, as usual, uh, had machine stock. And uh, that was a plus. Uh, it's true that I didn't see the machine cutting, but when you go to Matsuda UK, you can, yeah, you can potentially blind purchase a machine tool. You wouldn't have just bought a machine from stock from anybody, would you? You bought it from stock from them because you had confidence in what they would supply you with today, tomorrow and ongoing. Yeah, as a big Matsuda fan, uh, not user, but fan, um, yes, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go anywhere else and do that. Uh, I, I'm only there because it's Matsuda UK. A blind purchase could go badly. Did it? Was it wrong or were you right? Well, I would say it was 98% right. We had some uh, teething problems, as you would expect, with um, extremely uh, complex machine tool, uh, Japanese uh, or, or, or this quality. But uh, as you would expect from Asura, they took all the problem and now the machine is up and running 24 hours.